Now let's say I want to print uh, a simple statement here. After my calculation, if I print the value, we are printing the value. It's here. So let me just uh, take this k from here and let me put it here as k. So this will this k will print the value. We'll say uh, output is colon and then we'll print with the value of k, right? And now, and before this, I should print enter a number, enter a, yeah, enter a number. So to make to make our code more efficient, right? Since we are taking input from user, we'll run this and enter a number. We'll say number is four, and the output is two, right? And at last, I want to print by. So after this, if I say s out, I want to print by, right? So it's like. Uh, that's it, you got the output, now get lost. That's the only way we can say bye, right? Now if I run this, uh, entire number, it's a four, and you can see last, in last we have this bye. But what if, if I run this code, and unfortunately if I give an input as zero, and the output will be, cannot divide by zero, and I, which is arithmetic exception, and zero, right? That means, once you got the error here, it will throw an error, it will directly go to this catch statement, it will execute this statement here, and it will do the exit. What I want to print it, I want to print is by, right? It will not go back. So where to write this by? I want to print by anyhow, it doesn't matter if I get the output or if I get the error, I want to print by. So what you will say, just copy this line here and print it here also so that, so that in both the cases, doesn't matter if output comes or error comes, it will print by, right? Something in this way, if I say zero now, you can see we have by. But don't you think we are going for redundant redundant lines? And in software world, the redundant code means uh, it's, it's a criminal act, basically. So what we can do is, instead of writing it here, or instead of writing it here, in Java, uh, we have something called as finally block. Now what is this finally block means? Doesn't matter if the, uh, your code gives an error or not. If your try executed successfully, again it will call finally block. If your if your try throws the error, it will call the catch, and at last it will call finally. So in both the scenario, in both the case, it will call finally block. If I run this code, let's give the proper input as two. You can see we have by because this is from finally block now, and. Let me just print here, finally, finally by. Okay, so that, uh, again, we'll go with input as two. You can see finally by, uh, finally by. And if I give a wrong input, if I say zero, again, it's finally by, right? So in both the cases, it's it will give me the output. Now, where it is useful. Let's say you're trying to use some resource, like in, in this scenario, we are using a resource which is BR. And unfortunately, this is a resource we should close. So what we can do is, in finally, we can say br.close. So you should always close the resources you are using. Again, it will uh, it will again throw an exception, so we can write try catch. Uh, that's, the, uh, that's the problem with the Java. You have to handle lots of exceptions. And it's not wrong. It's because it might throw an error, because maybe that resource is in use, and you're trying to close it, right? So we should close all your uh, resources in finally block. And okay, and next we'll talk about throws and throw in the next part.